today's video will be a short review on these cable hatches for an RV. I'm going to install it on my Harley Davidson trailer, which I'm going to video. This is the cheaper Haltronic, Haltronic um, electrical hatch. I ordered the JR products, which I typically that's what all I ever buy, and I ordered it, and I just it just looked small. And so this one claimed to be five inches. Well, it it the website leads you to believe that the this is the cutout diameter is five inches. It doesn't say that. It's the same size as the JR products. And as you can see, I try to put this mail side of this plug in it mail side of this plug in at one time and it broke it. And that was some of the reviews, but the only reason I purchased it because it said it was five inch, I didn't think I'd have to I could put my 50 amp cord in there as well. Both websites claim they fit 30 or 50. No, I don't see it. Especially the way today's cords are with the handles on it. My 30 foot cord has handles on either side. My 50 amp has handles on either side. It's huge compared to these little hatches. But all I need is this 30 amp cord to go from the generator inside my trailer to hook up to the motorhome. So I'm going to send this Haltronic hatch back, return it to Amazon. I'm going to have an Amazon link in my description on this JR products. I've never had any problems with JR products. I've got several in my RV. And just to give you a couple of specs on it. Again, they said they claim that it fits 30 and 50 amps. I, I, I don't see it. I would just, if you need a 30 amp one, you're good to go. It replaces, it says the uh, round hatch up to four and a half inches outside the amp diameter. So that would be outside of here. The cutout dimensions is three and a half inches diameter. And the outside is five and one eighths. So I do not have a hole in my trailer at the time. So I'm going to basically cut it for this, this collar here. The collar depth here to here, right here is two and three eighths inches. My trailer is probably going to be less than that, but typically your motor homes, this would fit perfect. Like again, it's an OEM replacement, OEM replacement. This is my Harley Davidson trailer. We pull behind my DIY self-built Ram Promaster conversion. I have those in some other videos. I could possibly link to this one. All right, we're gonna go around on the on the road side, street side, and I installed the motorcycle vents, one here and one on the rear at the bottom, like they're supposed to be. And I plan to put this in line with that motorcycle vent, probably somewhere right along there. But what I'll be doing, I'll be going inside to make sure I have enough room from the floor. So it's gonna be in this front corner and essentially it's gonna I may go I may go right there that way I don't have to cut into that and have different levels so probably right along there so I'll take my drill and go here I may even start my hole saw uh, be back in a minute okay I'm back I got my three and a half inch hole saw I'm gonna put the bit on it and that's the outside diameter of this and, and how it goes over it, that'll fit really snug and plus leave plenty of room here for the outside. So what I'm gonna do, I uh, got me a, a longer bit just so I make sure, I'm gonna start the hole in here and go straight outside so I make sure it's in the right place outside before I use the hole so I'm going to cut a bigger hole. So I'm going to get a magic marker and do the best we can to draw out the uh, the diameter of this collar here. And like I say, we want to keep it above this piece of wood here so I'm going to do something like that 
and then come in like this okay and that should give us the room we need I may go up just a hair just to be on the safe side Take this, and we'll take this drill bit. Put in the center there. All right, I went all the way outside. And we'll go out there, check the fitment. Okay, we're on the outside now. There's the drill bit that I just drilled from the inside. Kind of give it a little dry fit here. See how it's going to look. And then the way of the light. I basically center right there. And what I'll do, as you can see, this has got a drill bit on it. Pull that drill out. Be back in a second. Okay, when I got my earmuffs, and I have glass glasses on to protect my eyes, we're going to put this. Hole saw in there, tighten it up, and it may be loud. I decided to get my quarter drill Hitachi. It just got so much more power, and being this is not a metal bit, it just I mean, just three seconds, it chewed right through it. Now I'm going to go on into the, uh, the interior wood that we marked out inside. As you can see, it took about three or four minutes. And you can... Look inside and see it inside now. Perfect round hole. Let's give it a, a test fit. I mean, just looks good, works good. Alrighty, we'll go inside, check it out. We're back in the trailer. There it is, right there. Perfect. I like it right there. Once I get it at, uh, screwed in from the outside, either I'm going to use silicon or some of that. Foam putty tape that goes around it. I don't know if it's foam, it's putty tape. Let's see if I got any. If not, I'll just use silicon. It'll work just as good. Okay, I think I got everything together. I'll try this seal here. It's not exactly what I was looking for. It should be fine. I could use silicon, work great too. I always just find stuff laying around my shop and, and kind of use stuff I already have. This is actually to sell out air and stuff on the air the window unit. Well, silicon can get messy. So I'll just, this will be fine. If for some reason it ever did leak, I can always use, go back and use silicon, but I would think I would imagine it would go um, find its way through here more than it would around here. All right, we'll set that bad boy right there. Position it that a little more, a little more substantial meat to the screw. So I'm going to go with a number eight instead of a, a smaller one, uh, five eighths inch stainless steel. By the way. Make sure you use stainless steel. These are not self-tapping, so I'm going to put a little hole in there.
I'm not tight. I'm not tightening them all the way down yet. I want all three of them in first. All right. Now we'll snug it down a little bit. Real good. Real nice. Real nice. Not too tight. You can actually get a, a handheld screwdriver and do it. We'll see how the 30 amp cord's gonna fit. Back in a sec. Okay, let's give this 30 amp cord no handles. This is a 10 foot one I use when I'm just carrying my generator on my swing away basket without the motorcycle trailer. So the male end obviously will be going into the generator, so and then the female would go in back at the RV. I would break it down to a 30 amp from a 50. So just kind of kind of finagle it a little, little bit. That's all she wrote. Let's go inside, check it out. Like I was saying, uh, before we go inside, this is my 50 amp service, and I have a, a 30. This is a twist lock, and I have a 30 amp uh, adapter on it. That's where that 10 foot cord is going right now. I got it plugged into my shop on, the, on a 110. And there she rolls. So she would be like, I do have a few things moved out of the way. Let's, right here, she would go in here. I have a 20, amp, 20 to 30 amp adapter that came with a Predator generator. And the 20 amp adapter goes in there because it's a 20 amp generator. It pulls my air conditioning no problem on the RV. As a lot of people know from the Predators 3500s, they do a good job. Really super quiet. I do have a video on it as well. Uh, may link, I may link a playlist that has uh, my pool noodle hack for the back of the trailer, pool noodles on the wiring back there, the Predator generator and so forth. So that works perfect. Thank you for watching. Hope this gives you some ideas. This is just a, a new install. It does not have a, a hole or a replacement like an RV would. I'm happy with it. I'll put a link in my description, like I said earlier, to this particular JR product, uh, the electrical hatch. And if you click on the link and buy it through my channel, it doesn't cost you any extra. You'll pay the same thing I paid and the same thing Amazon list it for. I'd appreciate it. Have a great day.